There was big recruiting weekends all across the country. Georgia hosted a bunch of visitors. Florida, they had a lot of recruits on campus. But you know we're going to do a video on Colorado. We want to find out what the recruiting reaction has been to Deion Sanders getting off to a 3-0 start in his first year at Colorado. So Buffs fans, do me a favor right now. Hit that subscribe button to the On3 Recruits page. All recruiting, all the time, and we are here to talk about Coach Prime. Now, Colorado, they stay perfect on the season with their win over Colorado State in overtime, of course, jumping out to a 3-0 and start on the year. And Boulder, it was the place to be on Saturday. ESPN Game Day was there. Big Noon Kickoff was there. Lil Wayne was there. And so were some of the top recruits in the country, including the number seven overall prospect, five-star offensive tackle, Jordan Seaton. He pulled up to Boulder to watch the game in person, and he was supposed to be in Gainesville this week. And he had an official visit set to visit the Gators, but canceled it. He wanted to take an unofficial visit out to Colorado on his own dime. Now, I spoke with him last night. He was very excited to be back from the game. He said it was an amazing atmosphere and lived up to all the hype. He even got to kind of rub shoulders with some of the celebrities there. He got to meet Offset from the Migos, take a picture with Desi Banks, and of course, he got a photo with the Buffs mascot. It was Seton's first time out in Boulder and also his first time talking to Coach Prime. Never met Deion Sanders. He said that the Colorado recruiting staff has done a phenomenal job with him. Tim Brewster is his primary recruiter. He talks to the entire support staff, but hasn't had a chance to talk to Dion himself. He said he did just that before and after the game. He said Coach Prime made him a priority. He said that they need a left tackle. They need a right tackle to come play right away. He even alluded to the fact that, hey, maybe he'll go to Colorado and block for Bryce Underwood. I don't want to get ahead of myself right now. Right now, Jordan Seaton is still feeling it out. He's open, but tells me that he definitely – definitely wants to take an official visit to Boulder. Said he'll probably do that later in the season. This unofficial visit was kind of just to get his feet wet, see if he liked Colorado, see how the travel was, see how the team said everything felt great, and he's ready to make it back on an official visit later this season. Now, Jordan Seaton, he's in no rush to decide. The number two ranked offensive tackle in the country is probably going to take his time, take it into November, possibly December. All right, let's bring on Director of Recruiting for On3, Chad Simmons, to talk a little bit more Colorado. I want to know, four-star edge in Bama Kama, Jeremiah Beeman was also at Colorado over the weekend. Now, he committed to Alabama in May. Chad, you spoke to him after the Colorado visit. What was his impression of that game day atmosphere in Boulder? You know, like Seton, he loved it. I think it surprised him a little bit being out there with the mountains. Again, I think the support coming from where he's from in Birmingham, Alabama, he grew up in SEC country, no one Alabama, no one Auburn, no one Georgia, no one Florida, LSU, and so on. He knows what the fan support's like in the SEC. He's been to Bama so many times. Uh, and I think it surprised him a little bit at the support uh, that the Colorado fans have for that program out there in Boulder, Colorado. I still think Coming back from this trip, obviously still committed to Alabama. I think he's still processing things, just kind of what he thinks about Colorado, how serious he is about his interest in Colorado. Now, I would not be surprised if he goes back for an OV. Uh, he told me that's very possible. Um, but I do think Alabama is still in a good spot to hang on here. But like you said, uh, he is keeping his options open with trips to Auburn coming up. Mm. All right, we'll see if Colorado can flip him down the stretch. Bryce Underwood, the number one quarterback in the 2025 class, the number one player in the 2025 class, was out in Boulder earlier than expected. He was supposed to go out there for the USC game, but he sped things up and made it out there last weekend. Chad, Underwood has said that he wants to announce in early January. Now, that's four months away, but this is still a crucial point in his recruitment. And do you think that Colorado is now among some of his top contenders? Yeah, I do, Josh. I don't think, you know, Bryce and his circle are ones to take, you know, trips that aren't serious, business-like trips. You know, they want to look and evaluate at the options they have and and see if it's a potential fit. And I think, obviously, obviously Coach Prime um, called his attention, uh, obviously, the win over TCU. Uh, I think Sean Lewis also factored into this, obviously being an offensive guy at OC, uh, his play calling, what he's doing with Shador Sanders, now making him into a Heisman candidate, a potential NFL draft guy. 
uh, coming out of this season. So I do think this was a real visit, not just to go meet Coach Prime in person for Bryce and his circle and his people. And I would put them up there. I do think mm. still LSU and Michigan uh, have been, and they are the two that everyone's linking to Bryce. But Colorado has to fall into that group now after a very positive, based on what I've heard, visit the Boulder. Yeah, so for the last couple months, you know, everybody's been saying that Underwood, it's going to be an LSU battle, it's going to be Michigan, but now Colorado is up in the mix. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed that content, be sure to subscribe to the On3 Recruits channel. We have a new page dedicated only to recruiting. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now.